I think it was a, it's a very good uh, discussions that we have had today. Uh, it's an eye opener. I think it's 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 a very good practice that what Chile is doing in having these sessions uh, once every four years, just before the elections, to 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 be a feeder to to the legislature and to the government, and also engaging with the uh, ambas resident ambassadors here to to learn how how we can work together to further improve. Chile's relation, bilateral relations with our respective countries. Well, I think it's it's great to see that uh, Chile is looking for new areas, mm -hmm. and I think today's discussion it sees that uh, shows that Chile is looking at ASEAN as a region. Um, I think um, as the discussion went today, the ASEAN and Chile being in Alliance Pacifico, these are two dynamic regions growing, and I think there's a lot of synergies that we can build together. Um, ASEAN will be having a major, uh, what do you say, landmark in 2015 when we have the ASEAN Economic Community, where uh, tariffs between the 10 ASEAN countries will be zero. And uh, Alliance is already working towards that. So I think it's, it's a great opportunity for, for, for both. I mean, bilaterally, I've, what I've been promoting to Malaysian companies is to use Chile as a stepping stone, a gateway to Latin America. And similarly, I've been telling the same to Chilean companies, use Malaysia as a, as a stepping stone to, to enter into ASEAN. Because as you know, Malaysia's location in ASEAN is quite central. And we are, uh, Malaysia and Chile shares a lot of similarities. We are both trading nations. We are the largest trading nation. Chile is not far behind us. And, and there's a lot that we, we share together, the aspirations that we have. We have, we have uh, large industries, but our population is small. So we need to, to look out. So it, it's good to see that.